We asked real-life orthopedic surgeon Dr. Sonu Aliwalia to challenge their medical knowledge. This is going to be so much fun. So it was definitely a thrill for me to visit the set of the fictional Seattle Grace Hospital. Janelle's labs show she has a teratoma. Do you know what a teratoma is? I do know what a teratoma oh, okay. is, yeah. <laughs> a teratoma is a tumor or a mass. Wow. Differentiated tumor. She's really smart. So here's Dr. Alawalia. Show us quickly what her knee looks like and why we're doing this. So um, this is her knee and there's her meniscus tear. So she's been hurting for almost two years and has not really been able to walk comfortably. So today we're going to fix her and okay, make so her much better. Let's go to Lisa Brick. Let's see if she's wearing a hat. Yeah. The and hat. There, there she is with Dr. Alawali, who's had us so much nicer. She, she, she's looking great. She looks great. Yeah. Right. Uh, Dr. Alawali, how's you're her just girl? You don't have the hat. <laughs> How is she Maria doing? Maria is yeah. doing great. She's mm -hmm. doing great. She did great. We can't quite talk to her just yet, right? Yeah, she's still sleepy. The surgery went really well. And, uh, you know, both her menisci were torn. And as you saw, we took care of both of them. So now her knee is going to be good. It's fascinating. She didn't want video in there, but I did take some pictures. And um, to watch the little flap of, of what is it? that what Meniscus. You need, meniscus yeah. that needed to be torn and yeah. basically then teared and cut out and vacuumed out all But you can imagine how that thing was flipping in and out of the joint and causing so much pain for her, so I think this is really, really going to be good for her. Let's go over and look at yeah. the pictures real quick. This is what it looked like before. And by the way, Steve and uh, Maria, I just have to let you know, every doctor here looks like they're in Gray's Anatomy, yeah. even the anesthesiologist, right? They what? just don't behave that way, but they... Yeah. <laughs> so it's casting. Okay, so here's where we're looking, and see that little thing at the bottom there? That's the flap that was flipping in and out of her knee, and that's the part that we took out. So she's lost a little bit of her meniscus, but now it looks nice and smooth, and I don't think it's going to be bothering her anymore. Well, well I'm, I'm finally admitting I'm 27. It's okay. Oh, she yeah, finally exactly. said it. Sorry. That's what, that's what I thought. Really. I actually had you at 25. So okay. Women have a wider pelvis, you know, a birthing pelvis, and that's why their knees tend to go inward. Dr. Sonu Alawalia, good to see you, Sonu. Prescription drugs taken as prescribed work really well. So we give it for anxiety, we give it for people who aren't able to sleep, but the problem is it also causes drowsiness and respiratory depression. So the MR results are back. I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is you're gonna tell me I can race, right? Uh, let's take a look at these MRIs first. These are pictures of your shoulder. Can you see that little break right there? Mm -hmm. You have a fracture in your scapula, but no surgery is required. Good. That's the good thing. We just need for it to heal. I don't want you to do anything with the arm. And strictly no bike riding. I know it's a little bit of a bummer. My name is Sonu Aluwalia. I'm in Los Angeles, Cedar Sinai Hospital. Welcome to All Is Well with Dr. Aluwalia. Yani me. Most log jo hain, wo in dono tarikon mein se sote hain. Ananya, aap kitne saal ki hain? Chhe saal ki. Chhe saal ki hain. To ye isliye tha ki kya inki health ke wajah se worried the ki isliye tha ki aap inko good looking dekhna chahte the. Good looking dekhna chahte. So right tap left. Excellent. Love you all. Take care. We're doing so much stuff that our joints wear out. We don't see these fractures typically in patients who are not on these medicines. Should we fear this? Well, you know, uh, one thing I want everybody to understand that none of these errors are because of callousness or any intended injury. It's just a mistake. These are all human errors. People come to the hospital, they say, I want to stay for days in the hospital. Well, you know, the, the risk increases yeah, that the longer you stay, right? Yeah. And right. iatrogenic basically means induced by your treating. By your treatment. Yeah, so, you know, we try to avoid it as best as we can, but it still happens. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Absolutely. Dr. Alawalia, thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Sonu. Good job. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks for having me.